Okay, so we're going to take a look at a, a glute hamstring raise. Um, you want to set the machine up, I think roughly from the elbow being in the pad to your fingertips touching the pad in this position. Roughly the length of the forearm is hopefully the length from your knee to your ankle as we go down. So we're going to set ourselves up here, putting feet in, and we're locking the knees into the pad in this position. Okay? Glutes are nice and tight, hands across your chest in this position. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom of the back extension. We hit the bottom position, we're going to try and be explosive and pull ourselves all the way back up to this starting position again. So here in a nice neutral position, lean forward, all the way down, squeeze and pull back into the top position. It's tight, all the way down, squeeze, back into the top position as we go. Celebration midline, nice deep breath at the top, be nice and tight as you go down. Control the eccentric, don't just fall so you feel some tension in the hamstrings. Like I said, when you get to the bottom position, just dig in hard, squeeze your glutes, try and pull yourself back up nice and strong. If you've got really weak hamstrings, then probably not the best version to do. You might want to go back and progress with a hamstring curl to start off with. Or you could potentially, if you have a partner or something that you can lock your feet under, just work like a naughty raise. So in a position where you're here, the partner's holding your ankles, you go down into a press up and then press yourself back up and pull through that position just to start to build some strength. Quite an advanced movement, but if you can start to do some GHRs on here, then the strength in the hamstrings is going to dramatically increase and the chances of you tearing your hamstring or having a hamstring injury will dramatically go down.